Hey howdy soldiers, it called me to 247 Total War Rome 2. I think it's about time I start a campaign, right? You guys have been waiting for this on Twitch TV and on YouTube. This is all played live on Twitch. Quick, re quick reminder, link is down below if you want to watch uh, Rome 2 live Monday to Friday around 1 p.m. You know, sometime early, sometime a bit late, you know. But if you guys want to watch... Feel free, come over on Twitch TV slash coldme247. So we'll be starting a campaign um, on Rome 2. I know that the game, there's a bunch of you know, bugs and glitches on the game. But so far, my experience, everything is awesome. So we'll be doing a new campaign. This is Rome Total War. So we'll be playing Romans first. I know a lot of you guys ask me for to play Sparta. Uh, maybe to play Pontus also. Um, we're going to be playing Romans first. You know, see the Roman troops and what we can do and everything and learn the games at the same time. By the way, I am not an expert in Rome 2. If you're watching this right now, I am not an expert in Rome 2, okay? I played for about 5 hours or 6 hours and I decided we're going to play campaign. So I did the prologue. I learned a lot of stuff. This is good. Um, you're asking, well, are you going to start playing now? Yes, I will. So we'll be doing a Roman campaign and we will be playing Junia. Not Julia. But Junia, you know, why am I choosing Junia? Couple bonuses, public order bonus. That's really good. Uh, political underdogs. I don't really care about that, so that's fine. And we get more wealth from the agricultural buildings. The reason why I pick Junia is because I have good friends. That's right. I might put a link down below. I have good friends doing Julia, and I haven't seen any Cornelia really. But I have a lot of friends playing Julia, so we're not playing Julia for sure. So we'll do Junia, and we'll start the campaign right now. By the way, thank you all for joining today. Let's go. Oh yeah, and there's this loading screen. That is unfortunately a bit long. So um, don't forget guys, the, so there will be one part coming up every day. Maybe two parts, that's possible. Um, if you want to watch it before it's on YouTube, let's say you're on YouTube right now, you're watching this right now. You want to watch it before it comes out on YouTube, come over on Twitch TV, if you can. If you can, just saying. If you also want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, I have a Steam group also, and I have a Google Plus page. If you want to follow me on this, it's all down below. Just click show more, open this, and you'll be right there. So, um... Why would you follow me somewhere else than YouTube? Well, on YouTube it's fun. You can watch videos and stuff. But on Facebook, I write more stuff. I talk to my people. You can come over and, you know, ask questions. You'll get an answer. I have no problem doing that. Um, if you want to be on Twitter, same thing. I do same thing on Twitter. If you send me questions and stuff, I'll answer you through Twitter. Uh, the Steam group. Um, eventually, what's going to happen? Since I'm on Twitch right now and this is live, what's going to happen on Twitch TV? Oh, we're going to have the intro coming up soon. I'll be playing with you guys on Twitch TV. Live Cold Meat. You know, play with Cold Meat. So, I think it's a good idea also. Maybe you come over on Twitch to follow. And maybe on Twitter. So, you're aware of what's happening. And you can join me in my games. Every day. Every day. Monday to Friday. I love this loading screen. Good thing I didn't put my face right in the middle of it. Are you ready? Because I am. You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Roma. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. That's right. As you notice, I put my face over the advisor. So don't panic because you will hear the advisor a bit often because I left the advisor on. Alright? Um, the reason is, it's just in case, like I said, I'm learning the game right now. We got our first mission here. Complete control of two provinces by direct ownership or through client, state and military allies. Sounds good. So we'll get more money from that. Um, let's have a look at what we have. You, you can go, because I don't really need this text. Okay, let's have a look here. I have, I gotta say I like the campaign map. 
on Rome 2 so far, I like this campaign map, I really like it. It's one, it's really nice and a bit like Shogun 2, right? Nice campaign map. When you expand cities, it really shows, you know, that the city grows bigger and everything. You've seen videos of it. If you haven't, look around. But um, let's do the series. So I got a small army here. Okay. I have another one here. Ready for battle. Are we at war with any of those guys here? No. I have a spy. What do you wish of me? I wish you to move up north. Swift Go. Oh, on horse. I told you guys, you know. Agents need horses. And now we got horses. Oh, he's got a small army. Okay. So I'll be parking my spy here. In the wood. It's it's a little red riding hood. But look at that. It's, it's freaking great so far. We can You can turn the map. Loving it. So it looks good, the armies, everything looks good so far. Uh, some of you complain about the the, uh, the unit cards, but uh, if you just look at it, eventually you understand what they are. It's, it's fine. It's just fine. Um, and it's, like I said, there's always, it's total war and there's always a little bit of a learning curve, you know, to go through. So this is what we're going to look here. Okay, do we have to expand city? I can definitely expand Rome, try to build stuff here. So what's great, I'll give a point here to the Creative Assembly guys. When you select one territory, you can see all the territories within your province. Well, I don't control those two, right? But I control those two. So what's really cool is you don't have to go click. I don't have to click on Neapolis. It's right there, you know? So that's one thing I found really, really great. I'm going to have to start research. Roman Colonia, how good is this? Crazy garrison. This cost an arm and a leg though. So, we shall expand the city. And we shall get a temple. I already have a, ba a field of Mars, yes. So, suburbia, public forum, not really needed. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do the holy ground here. So we can start building temples. So this is good. Uh, Neapolis. We can't expand Neapolis right now. We need the population. It's easy to follow because you can actually have a look at your population surplus, uh, surplus right here. So that's it's easy to understand. I like this so far. Oh, Mercury, Vulcan, Grove, Mars. Plus two public order, plus five. Always look under the, the uh, left side of the, the screen to know what the buildings are doing, so I like that. Neptune. Jupiter. Mm. I will be putting... Um, are we going for Mars or Jupiter? Well, let's, let's do important buildings first, here. That's the capital. There is no temple here, so we'll expand. And we will also, there is no barrack. So are we doing a temple or a barrack right now? That's the big question. I think we will be doing probably a barrack. No, you know what? I'll put the temple here, and then this place here, we're going to be doing a barrack. I thought I, I, I should have built farms though. So I'm thinking about it because I'm getting more money from the farms, right? Um, but having a barrack is definitely an advantage. Having temples is good. Alright, we'll do farms. So we're building here, those two. That's fine. I'm not building anything here. I can upgrade an arbor. Oh, there's more money coming from this. And I do have the money for it.
I'll expand that to a Roman village. This is just... Oh, we can do the temple next turn on this one. So that's level 2. Alright. I have 880. I don't want to spend all my money because I have to recruit troops. So we'll get more. That's Asteris. Vilitis. You can always just scroll your, you know, your mouse over the things if you don't want, you know, if you need to understand what are the cards and everything. So that's nice and friendly. I gotta say, I'm not disappointed. Uh, we will be getting one unit of Asteri and one unit of Villages. That's my money spent. You can always press Escape to remove everything. I, I'm keeping the map on, by the way, guys. I'm not gonna, you know, this is gonna stay, okay? That's how I like it. Um, shall we move an army now? I think we shall That's move to the border. On. I can't because I'm recruiting. So I'm going to have to wait. Um, we'll do research. Or technology as they call it. It's alright because there's ad keys also on it if you want. As you can see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, we don't really have any diplomacies to do. We have our objective. There's only one right now. is to control two provinces. So I think we're going to be attacking the... Uh, Etruscan League at first we'll take those two territories they also have more territories they have another one here so we'll be going we'll be moving north let's do um, let's do military research the reason is it's because I want to boost up my barrack and try to yeah I want to try to get maybe cavalry right from the start that I think that will help a lot or just more you know just better units Equitus, Principus, Triari, look at that. So, War Dogs, god damn. I can get War Dogs. So, I think that's what's gonna happen for the turn. I have one boat. Your orders. Can't you just disembark? You know what? I'll get here. For honor and glory. We might be able to use those guys. I might be able to disembark here. And then maybe walk to the town or something. So try to support this army that's going to advance. End of turn. If you forget something on your end turn, there's a message. You forgot technologies or you forgot to do this and that. So that's really cool. Athena. That's right. Get on boat. Oh, he's, exp he's expanding the town right there. Alright, good stuff. So, construction complete. Household expand. Left click. The family spirit has to be respectful. Evading enemy agents. We'll send all of those to the pool. Plus one cunning. Excellent. Construction complete. We finished the villa. And I have my two units. I'll be, I'll be you just adding a studies here right now. Since uh, no, 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 hold on. Move your armies first. It's important. We we'll be moving. Should we go to Ariminum first and then pass, and then come back to this village? The thing is, I don't want to lose Rome to a, a one quick attack. On I'm gonna move. get here, and I can hire mercenaries. What kind of mercenaries do we have? Italian Spearman. Hmm, that's alright. Alright, we'll just recruit our studies. Are you ready to serve Have a Rome? decent army to fight. At least five units of Asteri. My general. Vilitis and Levis. That's that's good. That's good. So that's all we're gonna go for now. Construction, I finished. So that's one turn, two turn. There's nothing finished in this province. That's I really love this, by the way. Just clicking on one territory and see the whole province. I really like it. I'll put money on the farms. And then I'm done to 383. I cannot build anything else. Ready you. Look, I can't recruit any good units here because there's no barrack in this territory. That's the reason why I'm building farms so we can grow the town and eventually... Look at look at the, the work here. The... Is that freaking amazing? Or what? I love it. So... Where are you gonna go? 
I don't think nobody will cross here. The thunderbolts of Zeus. No, I don't think so. So we'll be moving. And I'm gonna move just to the border of this territory, just to get inside the territory. And then we can reinforce this army by adding a status to it. As long as we're in the right territory, it's, it's cool. I might also, I might just push the army forward and go for Ariminum with this army. So we'll have two armies. Right now, upkeep is good. Army upkeep, minus one total expenditure, minus 50. Whoa, what are you talking about? Yeah, okay. Income next turn, 2200. See, this is, this is cool. Press escape, remove that. Remove the event message. So I'm going to wait for my two units, and then we'll advance. That's the plan. Let's end the turn. Yeah, we we'll try to get things moving here in this first part. And I gotta say, looking at it right now, they added a lot to the game, right? And what's... What? Are you trying to disembark on Rome here? He's sending his fleets all over the place. But they had a lot to the game, but they actually, in my opinion, they simplified the game a lot. So, your potions and charms had novelty, but it has faded. Therefore, keep your merchants out of our lands. Okay. Shall we talk about this? Research complete. All right. So we'll go. Um, we'll do do. We'll. We'll do some diplomacy here. Athens. Let's trade back with Syracuse. All Be right. welcome. If I can give you a fair answer, you will have it. Good. I think we should have a trade agreement. What do you think? My people are wealthy in intellect. And do not need your goods to add to their material wealth. Oh, really? Well, you will be punished in the next couple of turns because I'll be coming over to Syracuse and I'll kick your ass. That's all I have to say. And there's the Carthaginians also that I have to fight. Eventually, we'll get to Carthage. Carthage is here. So we'll get to Carthage. I like the fog of war because it's foggy. <laughs> it's not just black, it's foggy. Loving it. Alright. We'll just get into the territory here, like I said before. We'll be recruiting troops. Lads. What? Alright, so Romans use like Irish expressions to talk. But uh, where's this army? There's no army? Where's the army? Spy, tell me. I forgot to move my spy. Move here. As you Where's the army? Can I be did, he send, did he really send this army on the boat? How many boats is that? That's two boats? Three I have three boats. Reporting. I'm thinking about attacking this. That's his army. This is... The, I think that's the units we saw there that actually embark. Oh, I totally missed them and they're trying... To, they will try to ambush me. I don't care. Let's go. Ba -ba -bom. A very large army or fleet spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A faction can field a maximum of 40 units at one time across two armies. Makes sense, thank you very much. Um, attacking... Oh, this is good. Alright, so we'll, we'll assault. I don't want to really encircle. I want to take the territory right now. So that's And that's just... Is Gary's an army? All right, let's assault. Let's do our first fight here in the Rome to Total War. And I and yeah, I've seen videos about naval battle. By the way, because people are talking right now in on Twitch TV, I've seen videos about naval warfare, and apparently it's pretty broken. So we'll see. Well, I, I'll see if I get into it or not, and if I'm you know, using any of that. As long as I can move my troops around on boats, that's really, that's really all I want. If I have to fight, I will. Come on.
Uh, current weather dry. This is cool because I can look at the terrain right now. We will start deployment because there's no disadvantage. We need to get to the center of town. I think I will be deploying on top of the hill here and then we will we'll go down. We'll try to break them here and we'll advance. Unless we can do both sizes. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do both. Okay. So I'll be sending my weak shooting unit on that's our camp this side with two Aesthetic. units of aesthetic Benitez. my good shooties will be here and my two other my three other units of aesthetics and my general will be moving on top of this hill Excellent. So we'll have two forces. We'll try to block the road here. Although it's not really a road. I don't think you can walk there. I'm not sure. But uh, and we'll go here on this spot. Or we'll try to get through the trees that are here. Try to get up. Yeah, we can definitely move here. So try to encircle this place. And shoot them to death. We shall start the battle. The radar map allows an aerial view of the battle. I understand. I'm aware of that, my friend. I am all aware. Okay, let's just deploy for resource here. So he's really protecting his circle, that's what I like. That's, that's one thing that I've, you know, playing battles. Look, look, he's got the circle and he's really defending it. Which is cool. He's not walking around or trying to hide, you know, in buildings and everything. I should be grouping all my stuff. Yeah, get there. Alright, so we're moving in. By the way, if you guys are asking, I am actually playing on extreme graphics. That's the reason why it looks so good. I have to say, I did not update my graphic card. It's working and it's beautiful. The game's beautiful. So. I thought I would have to upgrade, get a 780 or get a. But that's details. Advance. Oh, you're gonna get bashed, my friend. Come back. Javelin's in the back. Come back. I can't shoot. I don't have the range to shoot those guys. Advance. Can we get here? Oh, this is like a road. Oh, he's coming here. Advance. Boa! Run. Alright, we block one unit, we're getting experience. That is very good. Advance. We're charging in. Alright, we'll advance in town. I can I can go faster because that's a road, so that's good. We'll be definitely defeating those two units really easily. Not large enough for all my troops. Jupiter, then we shall probably build a. 
a shrine to Jupiter after that for this fantastic victory honor the gods look at that look at them with their shields sorry I didn't zoom in yet and we got one unit that's not broken uh, it is now that, that'd be the end they're running out of town to the hills victory we will end the battle I'm not saving any replays by the way if you want to watch the replay just rewind the video okay so this is good our first victory they're all dead by the way there's a little skull right there why is there skulls all over the place okay uh, it lasted four minutes I have battle limit on 60 minutes by the way oh he just kicked him in the nuts that's not very Roman but we'll occupy the town increase in rank we shall do the increase right now the character's household is the ob yeah 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 thank you very much we will what will we remake of him a warrior a commander or strategist I think we shall do commander hell yeah just because oh we can boost that up all right that is really cool so that's done I have my other territory here as you can see it's added to my two others because that's all one province um, can we expand the town we can definitely expand the city now and or farm it or do a temple we shall do a temple eventually we will upgrade it so man Rome is a big city I love it this is just cool I'm waiting for my three units here I'll have a small force if he cannot this if he tries to disembark this we can definitely do something there's a star right next to Roma aha uh -huh. there's a star here it's kind of like a capital I can't move you can't move your army out right after a battle you have to wait so we'll be waiting the turn I'm gonna leave my boat where it is yeah I'll leave my boat where it is and then my or my fleet and see what's gonna happen I'm down to 449 I can't really recruit any That's units at this command. price right we can definitely add villages to that or had another unit of Levis. Uh, not necessary. Let's keep the money for next turn. Let's build with it. You know. All right. So let's let's do hand turn here. I, oh, thank you. I f totally forgot my technologies. Um. Well, I think we should we shall have to do that. There's no other choice unless we can maybe get this here. Training field. It's all for siege units. I'm not really doing any siege units right now. Rank one champions. You just said you said the right word, champions. All right, enter. Good for his part so far. I'm I'm pretty I'm happy. Oh, Sparta. Sparta is moving north. I'm gonna have to understand what the, what is this whirlwind, you know, or tornado thing around the ships. Maybe they're on force march or something, or for force float. I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm still thinking about my guy just kicking this guy in the nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> well, they found my agent. I don't really care. I just want to see if there's an army around here. He's got one unit, but that's alright because I have my other army. So I think I'll be moving the other army north, unless unless the Greeks are moving. No, they're not. So we'll be moving this one here. On horse. 
Your next command. So we're there to defend Rome, so we can't just attack like this. Commander. This army will be leaving and going to Arminum right now. So we're not joking here. I am moving. Besieging Why are you going Lord. north? Oh, oh yeah, okay. We would have made it like halfway there. So that's fine. Let's see now what we're gonna do. So the ground that's done. Let's upgrade here in Neapolis right now. Or in Rome. Hmm. So we shall build a shrine to Jupiter. Where's Jupiter? Hell yeah. That's to celebrate my first victory. And Jupiter. Or maybe Mars. Because it's a god of war. I think we'll be doing Mars. And then we will be doing... I will be doing Jupiter here. 1600. There's definitely big bonuses coming with all of this. Eventually. Um, we'll do Jupiter. Jupiter. That's excellent. So I spent all my money. I have my two armies in place, so no big risk. My agent is on the good spot, although this agent now should be moving north. You can get it. You can get in the water. What? Do you, what? What do you have? Like a canoe? You can just like board a canoe and then just go around. But that's not where you're going. That's where you're going. On a horse. Ooh, hello. That's right. Discover new lands. Patavium. The Warmongers. I like the names. I will be renaming my first legion. By the way, yes. If you have an idea for the name of this legio, put it down in the comments. If you're on YouTube, put it down in the comments. I'll look at that and then we'll rename the legion on part 2, 3, 4 or something. I'll take the time to rename this legion. Um... So that's fine for me. I moved everything. So next part, we'll take a break on this part. Next part, we're going to Ariminum. So we'll have a full province. Um, hopefully, we don't have any problem with those small Etruscan League armies or the fleets or anything. So everything should be cool. Um, like I said before, I'm still learning Rome too. So if I missed anything, right? Put it down below in the comments. Don't forget to click the like button because it's the first part. Um, that's it. I'm out. Thank you all guys for joining. We'll see you next time for part two. Have a good one.